Sometimes I just have to rant about Trader Joe's preparation instructions. I recently saw a tweet or an ex post or whatever the heck we're calling those now from a similarly frustrated dude and it read, man, Trader Joe's really is just guessing at the cook times, huh? Truer words were never spoken. How that tweet only got one like, I'm not sure. We can't be the only ones. In fact, throughout the years, I've had plenty of folks indicate that, indeed, TJ's heating directions are often way off the mark, usually on the short end of the spectrum, and still others have taken it upon themselves to tell me that Trader Joe's is right, and that I'm a blithering idiot. That's fine. I'm no culinary wizard, that's no secret. It could be user error to some degree, for sure. But in this case, following the stovetop instructions to a T, I wound up with a product that was still frozen solid in the middle. I mean, the outer portions of the corn cakes were browning and wanting to stick to the pan, and the middle portions were like a cornbread and cheese flavored popsicle. I mean, I didn't eat it that way, of course. I threw it into the oven and tried heating it through on a cookie sheet. Fortunately, it worked. After a spell in the oven, the griddle cakes were nice and brown and just lightly crispy in a few places, and the cheese in the middle melted beautifully, to the point where the cakes wanted to slide off the top a little. The taste? It's a grilled cheese sandwich made with cornbread instead of wheat or white. We've got a large slab of soft, creamy mozzarella cheese in between two griddle cakes made of corn. Not a far cry from American cornbread. It's slightly sweet, dense, and filling. The overall vibe falls somewhere in between home-cooked comfort food and something you'd get from a street vendor. Why is this not a thing here in the States? It's not even really a thing in Mexico. Por qué? This treat comes all the way from South America, Colombia in particular. I love it. I want more. $3.49 for two big arepas. Gluten-free. Would definitely buy again. I recommend either thawing completely before heating on the skillet or using the conventional oven heating method. Apparently there are makeshift air fryer heating instructions floating around in cyberspace. I would have gone that route had I realized it beforehand. Anywho, four and a half stars from me, four stars from Sonia for Trader Joe's Corn and Cheese Arepas. Arepas? Arepas? I think that's how you pronounce it. Bottom line, 8.5 out of 10. Really darn good. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.